never ever pray some of them sounds good. Anytime you pray, you're praying to God to help someone, to God to lead someone in the right direction. So you never ever pray for any evil to be called on someone else. Because that evil is going to come back around and come right back at you. So God is love. God wants to heal. God wants to help us. He never wants us to prey on anyone else's downfall. In Luke uh, 18, 1 through 8, Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Today's passage says, prayer, that you ask God for something and you get it, and you forget and you turn away from God. You know, you got to continue to be, to stay in connection with God. You know, you, you can't just pray and get it and then, oh, wow, you know, look what I did. Look what I got. It wasn't you. It was God. It was the Lord. If it wasn't for the Lord, we wouldn't have anything. We wouldn't have nothing. You wouldn't even have that mask on your face. You wouldn't have those necklaces around your neck. So we got to be grateful and thankful for whatever we get, whatever God is. Just don't, if you're too busy for God, hmm. it's time to change the schedule. Whoa, man. If, if you're too busy for God, Get up in the morning and go right on, rush out into your day and give God the glory. Don't look for a lot of blessings to come your way. Amen. Because God must come first. Yep. As I put on the front of my car, God first. Because that's how I feel in my heart. Because I gave all to God. I gave up everything, all to God. And if we don't put God first, everything else is not going to fall into place. Got to keep them first and foremost in our life. Even we, even little kids, when we were kids, we were taught, now lay me down to sleep. We t were taught to pray that prayer. Now that we're older, it's our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Yes. It's God's will yes. that must be done, not our will. Yes. It's God's will. Not your will, not your will. Not yours, not yours, not yours, you're not none of our will, but God. But God. But God. So when we pray, don't just poke out your chest. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you get what you pray for, God can take it back away. All right. When you get what you pray for, give God all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. Continue to pray some for it. Yes. Because if you pray and get it, then walk away, you know, God, our Father in heaven, can snatch it right away. Uh -huh. He can take it back. Yes. You've got to continue to give God the glory. Yes. For any and everything. And it ain't always what it looks like. Come on now. It's not always what it looks like. Uh -huh. And then a lot of us consider beauty. No, if you're not beautiful here, you ugly. If you're on the outside, beauty doesn't matter. If you're nasty, if you're evil, if you're crazy, if you're mean, mm -hmm. on the inside, yes, yes, you're yes. ugly. You're an ugly duckling. And God don't care for ugliness. Nope. And cares very little for beauty. I don't care how much I dress up, right. how beautiful I look. Or think I look. Yes. I don't know how many different kind of wigs I change or put on my head. All right, now. And when I take them off, Amen. I'm me. That's God's creation. Yes. God created me. Because God knows how I feel. God knows my heart. God knows how I feel. I put him first and foremost in my life. Walk up to the most ugliest person you think is ugly. Because mm -hmm. I walk around the house and I'm, I, I look a little ugly when I ain't got a whole bunch of stuff on my bed. I, I, 
Jingle on my head, you know. But I'm beautiful to God. Right? Because I put God first. Amen. And I love God. So no matter what anybody thinks of you mm-hmm. or how ugly they think you may look, you keep your head up, you stretch your stuff, Amen. and you always give glory to God. Because without him, you wouldn't have woke up to be able to stretch your stuff. And just ignore those ones that make fun of you, that laugh at you, Amen. that think you're nothing. Because to God, you're something. You're Amen. a child of God. Amen. You're Amen. a child of most high God. Amen. The most high God. No matter who teases you. No matter who talks about you behind your back. Come on now. No matter who tried to shame you. Have you ever been slack by the Holy Spirit? Come on, hallelujah, Jesus. Touch not my anointed. Do my promise no more. Have you ever been slack by the Holy Spirit? Have you ever been knocked to your knees by the Holy Spirit? Try touching one of God's children. Touch one of God's children. Touch his anointed. You'll never know what happened. But all I'm saying is, when you pray, pray and thank God. Don't turn away when you get what you want. Hallelujah. That's my time. Amen. Lord, we ask you to bless these three young ladies before us. Give them the benefit.